Hi, I'm Eli Minakazi. Last year, I proudly served as your secretary, and this year, I'm running for the position of vice president. You could vote for me because I participated in countless school fundraisers, or because I've represented our school at countywide events, but I'm asking you to vote for me, because at my time in the SGA, I put a special focus on student voice. Last year, after meeting with other SGAs across the county, I proposed the idea of creating a place where students could list their ideas and then vote for the ones that they supported. Eventually, this turned into a survey that got more than 300 responses. We presented the most popular, common, and well thought out ideas to our TPMS principal and other staff. As a result, TPMS students now get two tap days instead of one. I hope our changed I hope our school changed for the better and will continue to do so. Always remember, progress is not inevitable. It is up to us to create it. Vote Eli Minakazi for Vice President of the SGA. Thank you so much. Hello, I'm August Van Skyke and I am running for SGA Vice President. Now, unlike most candidates, I will not sit here and tell you how you are feeling or what you are thinking. I will just tell you what I plan to do to make your life better. Now, I think most people would agree that our school is pretty good overall. Obviously it could be better, but it's not literally falling apart like some other schools. But just as obviously, there are things that could be done better. That is why the main idea of my campaign is going to be to, number one, make your learning environment better. I will try to improve student quality of life by doing things like making the bathrooms more sanitary, and also by trying to make the classrooms and hallways cleaner. Another thing that I will try to implement is making materials necessary for learning more available to students. I will work to try to make the Chromebooks and calculators more available to students who need them, and I will work to raise the limit on the number of books you can take out from the library at one time. Another policy that I will try to implement is to allow students to have more choice in what clubs there are and when the clubs are. I would do this through one of my favorite personal policy tools, the survey. How this would work is I would send out a Google form that would allow you to choose on what days the clubs would meet, as well as what clubs there would actually be. Maybe you're thinking, hmm, I would really like to join a club, but I mean, I don't really like any of these clubs, and they don't even work for my schedule anyways. Well, my survey idea would hopefully help rectify that issue. What would happen is that there would be a section of the form where you would get to choose what days the clubs that already exist would take place. If you don't care, then just you don't have to click select the boxes that for the Day, for the days that the clubs meet. And you can also choose to add more clubs by putting in an idea for a club that you think would be a good idea. And who knows, maybe you could even subtract clubs from the roster, although such a decision would likely be subject to approval by administration. Sadly, since the club schedules are already set up for this year, this policy would probably only affect 6th and 7th graders. Sorry, 8th graders. Now, maybe you're saying, yeah, whatever, none of these things really appeal to me. Then, I'm happy to be able to announce my flagship policy, let you decide. How this would work is that every, is that either every quarter, or just once a year at the beginning of our term, we would send out another, you guessed it, survey. This would be a pretty short survey, mainly just asking what you want us, the SGA, to focus on. Instead of me making big, bold promises about what I will do, my colleagues and I will do what government is supposed to do and do what the people actually want. And I just want to finish the speech off by saying that I will also try to continue the work of my predecessors. As Derek said in his speech last year, change is a long-term process and I will be more than willing to put aside my own projects to work on other people's ideas. But the main point of my running for vice president is so that I can accurately and to the best of my abilities do what the people, not what I, want. Thank you for giving me your attention, and I hope you will vote for the person who will do what you really want and vote for August Fanska for Vice President. Hello, Tacoma Park Middle stu School students. I'm Yoon Young, and I'm running for the office of Vice President of the SGA. I am unique from the other candidates for three following reasons. First, this is no joke to me. I won't make false promises or tell you things that can't be done. Instead, I'd like to focus on the real problems at hand. I'll, I will do my best to not be the type of vice president who makes empty promises and does absolutely nothing the entire year. Second, I was in SGA last year and helped make some of the many changes. 
I attended all of the out of school meetings, bringing back new ideas to our SGA. I have also worked with SEC, which works with small but elections, and I am also a part of MCJC right now, Montgomery County Junior Council. So I know that while S so I know that while changes can take time and be difficult, they can still be done. Finally, last year, the SGA made a survey which allowed students to express what they wanted changed in the school. Some of these are getting cleaner bathrooms, longer lunches, and longer hallway times. I believe that these changes can be accomplished and be successful in addition to more sanitary bathrooms. I will also try to help make bathrooms open during cap period so students who need to go can go. I'll try to have longer lunches, which will allow more time outside and possibly even give students a chance to eat outside. Also, I would like to try to have more orderly hallways with less bullying, with longer amounts of time for students to get to their classes without the burden of having to run around the school. I believe that I have the capabilities and the background, and I am responsible enough to be vice president. Vote for me and peace out. Hello everyone. Because most of you are going to quickly tune me out because I'm going to be speaking and speaking about why you should vote for me, I'm going to try to make this quick for you. So, my name is Gloria Liang and I'm running for Vice President. Of course, I am doing that stereotypical thing of helping our school become a better place and, you know, leaving an impact. I'm also running for the experience and the SSL hours. I'm not going to lie about that. Okay, so now that's out of the way. So why should you vote for me? First, I'm open-minded to change. Whether I want your idea to happen or not, I'm willing to consider it. Also, I can support the President and other members of the SGA in making a difference. Second, I'm a stubborn advocate. I can lead an idea, or I can support the SJ's intentions. I don't know whether I can say I'm capable of persuading people. However, my stubbornness does get me into trouble sometimes, but I believe this would be an excellent time to use it. I can't persuade everyone, however, I can annoy someone to death about something. <laughs> Finally, I've got some experience with advocacy in the SGA. Last year, I was an ambassador for the SGA, and I've seen what needs to happen for an idea to become a reality. I've seen what sort the change some people want in the results of our last year's student survey. And also, I and the previous SGA helped our school gain an extra tap day. I know some people don't like that, but I believe that's some experience there. You might have noticed that I'm not saying anything about what I want to do this year and what kind of com campaign I'm planning to launch. I'm just here saying I'm willing to take any ideas because I don't want to pursue an idea that no one wants to happen. So if you're still listening, thank you. I'll summarize for the people who did it. You should vote for me because I will consider new ideas whether I like them or not. I'm a decent advocate and I have experience with the SGA. So please vote for me, Gloria Liang, the Vice President. Hi, I am Derek Mu and I am running for the President of the SGA. You're going to want to vote for me for a couple of reasons. First is because I have the most experience. This will be my fifth year involved in activities like the SGA. Two years ago, as Vice President of the SGA, I helped integrate TPMS into the countywide SGA MCJC. From that event, we are now more than ever able to influence policy on the county level, including unblocking websites and securing funding. At Tacoma, I want to administer another student survey. Last year, I listened to student opinion and helped to add another tap day on Thursday. I will also be pushing for other things you want, for example, phones during lunch. This is because I believe that having phones during lunch is very beneficial, as it can help with productivity during the school day, and also prepares you for high school's rights and responsibilities, as most high schoolers have the opportunities to use their phones during lunch. My two sets of experience will ensure that I can make SGA be more productive and creative than ever. Next, I will also be working with other experienced candidates from last year's SGA to ensure that SGA is at its best this year. I will work with different clubs and groups, such as different makers, to ensure that events such as dances and fundraisers will be fun and interesting. Vote for experience, vote for excellence. Vote Derek Moo for president of the SGA, because together, we will always be moving forward. Bienvenidos, mi nombre es Elizabeth Camacho. My name is Elizabeth Camacho, and I want to be your future SGA president. This is our school, this is our second home, and we deserve to be heard. I'm focused on making sure that you all feel accepted for your race, gender, and orientation. I won't make any promises I can't keep, but I can promise that if you have any issues, they will be brought to light. To light. Um, I believe that you should feel like school is a safe place for you to be your true selves. It's my job to advocate for you, the students. Last year I was an SGA ambassador, so I know how things run. I'm hardworking, responsible, and I want to make sure that everybody has the best year. 
So remember, vote for Elizabeth, the voice of the unspoken, your future president. Gracias.